Well, the mask mandates uh, come as hundreds of students across the state are in quarantine. After being exposed to the virus, LEX 18's Conroy Deluge continues our coronavirus coverage. Students in Clay County returned to the classroom last Thursday in person with a mask recommendation, but not a requirement. Very shortly thereafter, by Friday afternoon, we were starting to receive notice of cases. Christy Green is the local public health director. On Monday night, the school board reversed their previous decision, now mandating masks starting on Tuesday, citing the number growing of cases among children, a decision that Green supported. We have at this point quarantined uh, four classes in three different elementary schools, um, and then there are also some students quarantined potentially at the high school with another case that we have. More than 150 miles west of Manchester, over in Bowling Green, parents were protesting Tuesday morning following the Warren County Superintendent's announcement to mandate masks effective immediately due to a high number of people in quarantine in that district. My opinion is it's wrong. I think breathing carbon dioxide all day for these kids is wrong. We could go on and on. But after today's executive order, all students and adults in schools from Paducah to Pikeville, public and private, will be masked up. Masking in schools uh, is a is one of the best ways that we can put in a layer of protection, particularly for our students under age 12 who are not eligible for a vaccine yet. Green is encouraging anyone over the age of 12 to get a vaccine, but so far in Clay County, barely over 30% of the population is fully vaccinated. In Clay County, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News.